All right, guys, here is our lesson seven for reading, page 198. We're gonna start with our vocabulary and it's gonna be a little different than, than in class because I don't have you guys to be able to talk to each other about these words. So you are going to be defining your vocabulary words by looking at the word and then finding it in your glossary. And you, if you probably don't have this book at home, but remember we've been using the glossary on Think Central and I have our vocabulary on there and you also have the story on there, okay? There is a function on Think Central at the top of your iPad. The top of the app says go to page once you've clicked on into the book. And say you were at lesson, you clicked on something last week that was like lesson nine. You could click go to page and type in 198 and it'll take you directly to page 198 for the vocab or you can go into it by things to do and clicking on vocabulary for the coming distractions. All right, number one, our first vocab word is entertaining. Uh, going to a movie has been a fun and entertaining pastime for generations. So one thing that you guys find entertaining is Minecraft. You love Minecraft, so Minecraft is entertaining to you. Number two, promote. Movie makers show clips of exciting scenes to promote their movies. So that's like the trailers. When you watch the trailer, it shows you um, these exciting scenes because they wanna promote their movie. They want people to come see it. Number three, focus. Oh, Ms. Pascoe says that word a lot. Movie makers use cameras to focus or concentrate on each film shot. So focus, if you're gonna focus in on something, you would focus in on that particular thing or concentrate on it. Number four, advertise. Posters advertise movies. People know a film is coming when they see the poster. So here you have a poster for Wizard of Oz and a lot of times you'll see advertisements like posters, commercials, and those will show you the um, advertisements. They want you, they're trying to promote you to go see their movie. Number five, jolts. Movies often include chase scenes so that viewers feel jolts or bursts of excitement. So right before like the big explosion in the movie, you'll have that jolt or burst. Number six is critics. Critics give reviews of movies. Many people pay attention to these reviewers' opinions. So they're either gonna be like, hey, that movie was good, or meh, that movie was not very good. That's what a critic does. Number seven, target. Some movies are made for kids. Kids are the target audience. So here we're not talking about Mr. Halstead teaching us archery and shooting a target. This target, it means that the kids are the audience that they want for this movie. Number eight, thrilling. Seeing a movie on a giant screen can be thrilling. Many people find it exciting. So I'm thinking thrilling and exciting are very similar words. So maybe if you're doing a vocab web for thrilling, you would want to use a synonym. The same thing as thrilling is exciting. Angles. A movie scene is usually filmed from several angles or positions. So here they're on a, a contraption so that they're high up so they can shoot a good angle. I have my phone, it's actually Mrs. Stahl's phone, um, being held on a tripod so I could get, get a good angle of the book so that you guys can see what I'm talking about as I'm talking about it. Number 10, generated. Sometimes a movie's success is generated or created mainly by word of mouth. So generated is the same as created. 
that's your vocab for this week. So remember, today you are doing your definitions. Your definitions are in your glossary, which is also on Think Central. And then we're going to read the book together in the second part of this video. And later on in the week, you're gonna use the vocabulary when you do your vocab webs. You're gonna pick two of these words to make a vocab web with.